All right, guys. So welcome to another match commentary. Um, so like I said before, I wasn't planning on making these, but I keep catching crazy matches. Uh, and today I ran into this bison. Uh, he was like a level three. So I like jumped in with him and I think he ended up beating me like five times. I beat him like twice. I was like, dang, this bison's like really good. And, you know, I wanted to watch him lose to some of the other top 10 players. So I exited and I was watching other top 10s go up against them. And he was smoking all of them. Like we're talking, you know, 11 and 0, 12 and 0, stuff like that. So then finally, our Lord and Savior to die for uh, jumped in there. And I was like, all right, to die for is going to whoop this dude, put him in his place. And what actually happened was something I totally did not expect. All right, so here we've got Noob Master 69 and to die for. Uh, going head to head. Uh, New Master 69 is just this bison that's been running through everybody. So I was looking at uh, to die for to put him in his place. So let's see how this goes. So uh, bison opens up with his head stomp, but to die for is is holding that pressure off pretty well so far. Um, those bison kicks are super annoying, especially that that double leg kick. But to die for has got one of the best guiles in the uh, the big blue business here. So so he's he's going tit for tat with Bison at the moment. And then that Psycho Crusher uh, just starts to chip Guile down here. Those kicks build up enough range for him to get another Psycho Crusher and finish Guile off with the chip. Um, so first round goes to Noob Master 69. <laughs> uh, and that gamer tag too just just makes you feel even worse for losing. <laughs> and here he goes with those chips again. Uh, he's using those those fierce punches and that medium kick because the medium kick has a, a, a really quick uh, recovery. Man, words. Um, and and he's able to, to use that to create distance relatively safely. And then once he creates that distance, he just psycho crushes. And once he conditions the opponent to cower in the corner, kind of like to die for was doing there to try to soak up the damage and get out, he just has to throw. Like you basically just get a free throw at that point. So you're gonna see that as a really common strategy. Like he's gonna make people nervous in the middle, get them scared of Psycho Crusher. And when they get to the edge, um, he's going to uh, push them into the corner with Psycho Crusher and throw. So now to die for brings Ryu out. Um, I guess he thought that maybe his Ryu was a, a better match for Bison. Uh, those fast low kicks are always super annoying from Ryu. Uh, and right now he's got the life lead. He's chipping them down with those low kicks, doing a good job of, of zoning, uh, using uh, you know his, his anti-air attacks there to um, his Shoryuken to counter Bison. So, so to die for takes that round. All right, see Bison using that medium kick again just to cre keep that distance relatively safely. Like he doesn't want characters getting too close for it to him. Um, using that stomp again, and the stomp gives him a lot of distance as well, which is awesome. Uh, in low kick and the medium kick, creating that range again, and now just that Psycho Crusher uh, cycling. So it's tough. I play Bison, so I know how much of a pain in the ass he can be. Uh, and it's it's really like with this guy's play like he's so good and he was kicking my butt in hyper fighter hyper fighting as well so look at that just working that medium kick that's that's bison's best tool for creating range and because it's got a lot of pushback but again it's relatively safe and in order to get your psycho crusher and your double kick off you want to have a little bit of range or you want the opponent in some sort of recovery state so here to die four, you know, basically played into Bison's game. Bison just zoned him with that medium kick, uh, got him to the point where he could just cycle Psycho Crushers on him, and, and there we go again. So 2-0, Noob Master 69 against to die four. Like literally the best or second best player on Big Blue at the moment. Like this is insane. I feel like Noob Master kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know if he just got the cabinet or he's just been practicing like crazy, but man, he is just kicking butt today. So there we go. Ryu actually fend, fended off that attack real nice. Um, those, those low kicks are really hard for Bison to deal with, I and mean, for most characters to deal with, really. 
uh, other than Ken or Ryu. Uh, there we go, he's doing some great zoning, and then when Bison jumped in, he, he got that throw off, and then when he tried to do the head stomp, he did the Shoryuken. So here he's doing a beautiful job countering Bison's attacks. Um, Shoryuken was a little bit late there, uh, which now he's getting punished for. And here we go, we get that cycling double kick into the Psycho Crusher in the corner, uh, which opens him up to either being able to throw uh, or just, you know, do, do, do some nice, nice uh, attack combinations in the corner. So there he made up the life deficit and actually took the round, which I didn't expect. <laughs> And here we go again. He just set him up with the medium kick for the Psycho Crushers. Uh, didn't even go for the throw there. Was just doing the Psycho Crushers to get that free damage and, and get that safe range. Uh, nice counters here for him to die for. Very nice counter there. Blocked the head stomp with uh, a jumping anti-air and then threw him in the corner, but that freaking Psycho Crusher chip damage. Like, look at that. It's crazy. So... Yeah, it's just, it's, you know, th this guy, and like, the thing is, like, he's making Bison look overpowered, but really he's just playing Bison super freaking well. Like, he is doing an amazing job keeping the optimal range that he needs to, to get those Psycho crusher, crusher Cycles going off. So to die for switch back to Guile, uh, I guess after the three losses, he wanted to see if he had more luck with his main, because um, I think to die for his main's Guile. I'm not 100% sure. I've actually seen him playing uh, DJ in Super Turbo, so. But here we go, so Guile just applied a lot of pressure. He wasn't even really playing a zoning game there, he's just kinda, kinda throwing stuff at Bison constantly. And then there, once that space was created, uh, you know, he started getting in a little bit of trouble, but was able to to uh, uh, fend Bison off with some good counters there, so round goes to, to die for. And here we go. He's doing a little bit of zoning now, and I imagine we're going to see him do an aggressive attack uh, as soon as he has the opportunity to. If Bison gets the throw in, uh, Noob Master. Noob Master's doing some nice blocking there into the double kick, into the head stomp. So just applying excellent corner pressure here, and then the throw. So that's the thing, like, he's, he's mixing it up so well that he's, like, forcing the opponent into a crouching block, and then he just gets that free throw for a ton of damage with Bison. And, and he takes that round to die for, couldn't uh, make up that life deficit that time. All right, we got the double leg kick to open things up and then right into the Psycho Crusher to push him in the corner. Leg, double leg kick to keep him in the corner. Uh, now he's just Psycho comboing that. He's doing double leg kicks to get back into the corner uh, aggressively and then throws uh, 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 light and medium attacks uh, once he's actually on top of Guile. And then again, once he notices that Guile's just conditioned to block, he'll he'll start throwing those throws out there. Use that medium to create range, did a head stomp, use medium to create range again, jumps in, finishes it. This bison's so good. Like, I thought I was getting decent, and he's just, man, he's on the next level. I feel like you should claim the red skin everybody uses too. Like he, he always uses that green skin, so I guess he likes that. All right, so we get the opening with the Shoryuken. Um, so I guess to die for was expecting an immediate attack and went for the counter. Uh, was Did get it on the second time, um, but Bison did punish him for that first with Shoryuken. All right, here we got some effective zoning from Ryu. It looks like Tadai Force is trying to figure out whether his Guile or his Ryu is better for, for taking out Bison because he's swapping a lot right now. Still doing some really good zoning here. Excellent counter Shoryuken. Very nice uh, little light kick combo there. Psycho Crusher cycling started. Ooh, manages to get himself out of it and finish Bison off. Let's see if, if Tadai Force can start mounting the comeback here. Even then, I'm just shocked that it's 4-0. Like, I've, I've, you know, Obliviate takes, uh, he, he, uh, to die for takes rounds off of Obliviate. Um, 
and I'd love to see Obliviate go up against this Bison, see how, how this Bison does against them, mainly so I can learn. Like, I'm just studying this guy to see what he's doing that I'm not doing. So there what was interesting is, you know, he pushed Ryu into the corner again, which is a, a, a pattern here. But instead of doing his long Psycho Crusher for max range, he was actually doing the short. Um, and I'm not sure why he was cycling short there. Like, maybe it was just head games to to mess with, uh, to die for and make him, you know, aware that he might use other Psycho Crushers. But that was a really interesting, like, uh, short cycling he was doing there. And look at that, just keeping that optimal range. Like, he got a little too close to Ryu and knew that he could get swept, so he just blocked. And then when Ryu threw a, a punch, he punched him with a medium kick to create that optimal range again, and, and he was off to the races. But Ryu's, Ryu's mounting a nice comeback here. He's doing a great job zoning. He's doing some really good counter shuriken's beautiful throw there. So, so there Bison got too close, um, so Ryu was able to grab him. Come on to die for. Man, it makes me it makes me nervous watching. Oh, nice! So it looks like Bison made a mistake there. I'm guessing he didn't want to do a crouching heavy. He probably wanted to do like a crouching medium. Uh, and to die for was able to capitalize it, get the throw, and take his first game. So now we are four one, uh, uh, Bison uh, at the moment. But to die for is on the board. So let's see if. If our hero can can mount a comeback, okay. So it looks like to die for is not too happy about this match at the moment. So he is making Bison suffer in the bonus stage. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Well, while this is going on, uh, again, it's worth mentioning that to die for is amazing. He's got a really good uh, uh, Guile, a really good Ryu, and a really good DJ that I've seen. Um, I think Guile might be his main for champion and hyper fighting, and I think DJ might be his main for super turbo. But like either way, he's he's amazing. Like, you know, he 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 puts up a good fight against Obliviate, which I think everyone, you know, would agree is the best player on Big Blue at the moment. Um, but this dude just came out of nowhere, and like, kudos to to die for for taking that round off of this guy, because like, literally, I hadn't I didn't see anyone take a round off him today. Like, I think that, that, I probably watched this guy play maybe 40, 50 matches, and uh, that was the only the, the only game I saw him lose. All right, that pressure's wild. So he opened up with the Psycho Crusher to push back, and then those fast but strong medium attacks with good pushback to get Ryu in the corner. Uh, looks like that was an accidental head stomp. Um, I don't think he meant to corner himself. Uh, but he's, you know, using that medium kick to push Ryu back again. Uh, now that Ryu has that life deficit, he kind of has to back off. And uh, unfortunately for to die for it, it went Bison's way again. So we are 5-1. Uh, Bison, Bison building a pretty hefty lead here. To die for has been sticking with Ryu as well. So I think maybe he thinks his Ryu is just more capable of beating Bison. Again, crazy Psycho Crusher push there. Just got Ryu all the way in the corner and then punished him immediately down to half health. And then Ryu, you know, whiffed an attack and Bison just lays on that corner punish. And then Ryu went for that corner block again and that's an easy throw for Bison. So, man, this Bison's so freaking good. <laughs> Noob Master, if you're watching this, you are a very, very good bison, and I would love to learn from you. So here we got we got Ryu putting on some good pressure, doing some good zoning, uh, chipped bison down pretty decent. Ooh, very nice. Those those low kicks are really hard for bison to deal with because they have pretty good range, and bison needs to use that medium, uh, that that medium kick to to create the range he needs. So. So it's kind of a nice little counter to, to, to Bison's zoning strategy. What's really interesting too is I tried to do, so if you watch this Bison, he does a crouching fierce punch as an anti-air. And I tried to get the timing on that. I tried to do it, I can't do it. And he's able to consistently use that crouching fierce as an anti-air against Ryu, which is uh, super wild to me. And he was doing the same thing in other matches against other characters too. 
So I thought I was a bison main, but Noob Master is really a bison main. Opening with that double leg kick, massive pushback into two medium kicks. Guile's already in the corner, conditioned that uh, that blocking, uh, and got that throw. So that's exactly what bison wants to open up around. And we got the double leg kick into the medium again, into the throw again. And Guile's down to one third of his health already. Let's see. This is to die for, so I've seen him come back from worse. Let's see if he can, if he can pull it off here. All right, so here we got a little bit of a stagnation, but ooh, very nice. So Bison went for the, the double, uh, the, the leg, the head stomp, excuse me, and Guile there, he actually waited to take the hit and go for the throw, uh, which was an awesome trade. He took a lot less damage than he dished there. Oh, very nice anti-air kick. Oh, that double leg kick though, so good, so good. I thought that to die for was gonna eke that one out. Almost came back with that huge life deficit actually though, so still excellent round. Okay, very nice. So he countered the uh, the Bison special with a su uh, Sonic Boom. Almost called it a Super Sonic. But then their Bison goes again. Pe pressures him into the middle, uses that knockback to keep him in the middle, and then gets that throw. And then there, pulled the combo off, got the stun, and did another throw. And now he's probably just going to try to chip him out with double legs and psycho crushers, if I had to guess. Yep, there it is. Oh man, seven to one, right? Like I would, I did not expect that this was possible. Especially because you know Guile and Ryu are relatively difficult characters for Bison. Um, like, I know Bison's also a strong character, but, like, those those fireball guys have some good good tools against him, and this Bison is just making it look like no one can stop him. I mean, I probably saw people use seven or eight different characters against him, too, throughout the day, and, like, he dealt with all of them, no problem. Probably the biggest challenge for him was other Bisons, <laughs> from, from what I saw. But even then, he was smoking them, so... Okay, well, there we just had a lot of trading, and the round went to Bison again. Alright, so, Kyle trying to zone, trying to counter with the flash kick there. Nobody doing any serious damage to each other yet. That double leg kick, though, has a real nice chip and pushback. So that's super powerful, because it gets him in the corner where he wants him for those throws. Uh, but it also does mad chip damage. Like, look at that. Super nice chip. And it's just a great mix-up, too. It's very easy to transition into to, to mid and low attacks um, out of that and into that. <laughs> so it's just a, a super effective corner pressure tool. So we're 8-1 now. Um, and to die for switching back to Ryu. So he keeps taking that guy out to give him a try. And, like, honestly, some of those rounds are so close that I almost wish that I... Uh, Got to see like 11 rounds of Guile and 11 rounds of Ryu uh, straight up just to see how Tadai 4 would have uh, done in those longer grudge matches um, with a single character. But yeah, this, this Bison's just really freaking good. Uh, that was interesting. He actually did a crouching heavy, which is kind of dangerous to punish the Shoryuken, uh, but it worked out and it pushed Ryu really, really far into the corner again. And I was just applying that corner pressure and those throws. And there's not much you can do once he gets you in the corner. And his strategy is actually super effective against Bisons even. Like if he if he outzones you and out pushes you and gets you in the corner, it's really hard for Bison to get out. Alright, so we use zoning again. And then we get that Psycho Crusher pushing him, but it took uh, put Bison on the wrong side there. So now he's working on throwing Ryu into the other corner, accidentally gets himself in the corner again, but he's got a big enough life lead that I don't think he actually carried at that point. <laughs> Man. I, mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this replay. Like, I know it's lopsided, but, like, this dude's just so insane that I had to share some of his games, and I was actually excited to see To Die For go up against him, just so you guys could see how insane this bison is. And he was just as good in hyper fighting too, where 
You know, I know like he's considered a top tier character in Champion Edition. And for hyper fighting, I think he's like maybe mid tier or lower high tier. I don't really care about tier lists too much, honestly, but which is why I played Balrog in Champion Edition even as well. Um, but yeah, same strat and just executes it so well. Always uses that middle attack. There's that middle kick to push back and then uses the double knee to push back. And if the character's in the middle, it uses the Psycho Crusher to push him back. And then once they're in the corner, he just throws these insanely good mix-ups. Nice counter there from To Die For. And To Die For is doing an amazing job blocking. Like there's really not much more you could be doing in this situation than, than what he's currently doing. Very nice. Ooh, is he gonna get this round? Beautiful. To Die For actually makes that comeback there. Let's see if he can take game two now. So he survived all that pressure, was able to get that throw in there to, to make up the life deficit, and then finished him uh, with a little bit of zoning. But then there we go, gets him in the corner, o overreached a little bit. So now Bison got himself in the corner. So let's see if Tadaifor can actually capitalize on that. He's applying some nice mix-ups. Uh, Bison did not punish that Shoryuken, uh, which is surprising, but now he, he punishes that, that, uh, that whiff there. Yep. And then there again, you could see he used that crouching, I think it's the crouching fierce or crouching medium. I have to pay a little closer attention um, as a, an anti-air, uh, which is really interesting. Because a lot of people use uh, light Psycho Crusher uh, as, as Bison's anti-air, but he's using a straight up punch for it, which I love. Like that's way better than having to use a special attack as a anti-air. Oh, and that freaking Psycho Crusher pressure, man. Like, once he starts that special mix-up, it's, it's really tough to recover. Sure, you can gets it back under control, but then jumps into throw range and Bison capitalizes on it. All right, looks like both guys dropped out. So to die for, got taken down by that Bison. I'm hoping that I catch uh, Obliviate uh, go up against that Bison and see how he does. But that Bison is really freaking good, and I'm, I'm just watching his matches to see who can take him down and how they're taking him down. <laughs> so uh, whoever he is, uh, you know, great job uh, on your on your games there.